Good afternoon. This is Deb Amlin for the New York Times. Welcome back to Crosswords Live. I'm sitting here, of course, with my solving buddy, Sam Azurski. How you doing, Sam? Doing quite all right. We are back for another Tricky Thursday crossword. Let's play two. Let's play two. Um, it's funny. A lot of people thought this was kind of easy for a Thursday, but that doesn't really matter. You know, what matters is how you uh, approach the puzzle yourself. It doesn't matter if people are saying it's easy and you find it difficult. What matters is what you learn from the puzzle. We also, you know, on the, edit on the editing side, yeah. Thursday is just harder than Wednesday, easier right. than it's Friday. It's not always not gonna be a, a death-defying trick. soul crushing, yeah. yeah, exactly. Well, let's get into today's puzzle. It's by Freddy Zhao. And how many puzzles does he have for the New Andrew, York? but yes. Andrew, <laughs> I'm so sorry, Andrew. Sorry, Andrew, Andrew if you're here with us. Yeah. Um, this is Andrew's 18th puzzle for the New York Times, his sixth Thursday. Right. He's had um, a bunch of themelesses in there um, as well. And um, yeah, I mean, you didn't find this too tough. I guess it's not no. the craziest Thursday idea in the world, but well, I think we got some tricky clues I think, in there. I like, I like the fact that you had to go hunting for the answers. It was um, a little bit tricky. But uh, it wasn't just me. It were people who responded to the wordplay column felt it was a little easy, but they tend to be more advanced solvers. That's uh, the daily crossword column for the That's New York the Times, That's the daily right? crossword column for the New York Times, as Sam likes to help promote. But anyway, this is an interesting looking grid. You don't normally see this many black squares or in this, you know, the long patterns that you've got here. Exactly. It's really chunky. I mean, those eights and the sevens next to them, I mean, they're, they're just tougher to crack into, which is another reason why, you know, this puzzle, even if it's not the most intricate theme in the world or the craziest, most soul-crushing puzzle you've ever <laughs> seen, um, it's just really chunky and thus harder to crack into, so it feels about Thursday difficult. It does. Uh, I will tell you that one of the ways I got into the puzzle was at 21 across, remove ID from as a Facebook post. That's that's untag. And I have a lot of experience with that when people pu uh, publish pictures of me that I don't like. <laughs> I will untag myself <laughs> so that nobody has to see it. Uh, I, I can tell you my gimme. What's your um, gimme? And we're, we're talking about, you know, comparing and contrasting sure. here. Oh, uh, you can go off that G to ah. nine down. I'm a oh, big basketball guy. Right. I know that Coach Popovich with five NBA championships on the San Antonio Spurs is, is. Greg. Look at you go. G-R-E-G-G. -G -G. There you go. That, that was one I did G's. not know, but that's why I always say when you solve together, solve together, together yeah. you make one good brain sometimes, or nearly one good brain. Indeed. We've got a bunch of hey, people on. Hello, back, everybody. everybody. MC Dendis is here with us. Budlums is back. Someone's in White Horse, Yukon. Uh, Virginia LaBelle, good morning from White Horse, Yukon. Good UConn. morning, Virginia. I wish I was just waking up right Me now. Me too. Um, MC Dendis is one that I thought was a good way to bite into for the Thursday. Just one across. Ah. Uh, the skin pick. See, now, this one I was ready to put in triple X ah. for a skin pick. That's where my mind goes. But in this case, he's right. The answer is tax. I suppose it can be, you know, triple X. It could be, not in this could puzzle. Be, that, would be a hard way, <laughs> that would be a hard way to uh, start off a puzzle with uh, three yeah, X's. Yeah, from the, the constructing the end. Yeah, yeah. I, but we have tat and not tattoo because we've got pick and not picture. How about, the, I was going to say Dixie <laughs> Cup of Joe. Uh -huh. um, has nine across off the first G. Wow, that's pretty which good. Which is the Travelocity uh, mascot. Everybody knows it's the gnome. It's the gnome. Or the I actually would have needed a letter or two, weirdly. Would you? I would have. Okay. It just wouldn't have come in. Like, now I'm picturing it. But mm -hmm. hey, that's what you have your crossers it's for, It's one right? of those things that just sort of sticks in your head. Exactly. Um, what let's else see. have we got? Uh, MC Dendis also has ADA at 22 across uh -huh. with a nice uh, fresh clue that isn't the uh, American oh. Dental Association. Right, civil rights legislation of 1990, and we have legislation abbreviated, so the answer has to be abbreviated. And you're right, that's the uh, ADA. Uh, let's see, who else is with us? Um, Policy Junkie agrees with ADA, nice. Lisa Higgum agrees that nine across is gnome. Right. Uh, Budlam says that ten or uh, fifteen across, I believe, is Apollo. Ah, uh, Apollo Ono, Apollo one, one P. I love that yeah. his last oh, name no. is, uh, is an exclamation. <laughs> and uh, Nicole Xavier 111 has uh, a gimme for both of us, I believe, Deb. 30 down oh. is Ned. Anytime you can fit a Game of Thrones reference into a puzzle, you've won me over. Ned Stark, Game of Thrones patriarch, he, he absolutely lost his head. Yeah, spoiler already does. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> 
Pol- uh, Policy Junkie also has Lynn at 50 down, another fill in the blank, which down. is... Um, ah, there we go. It's helpful. There's fill in the blanks. Usually they yeah. can be your crutches that's, for that's no matter where we day. start off because they're usually... It's amazing what the brain will do. That Your brain loves to fill in missing information. So go look for the fill in the blanks. blanks. On a Thursday, at the, you might not know all of them right off the bat. Some of them were guesses for me. Like, for example, at 60 across... Now that we have Lynn, it's obviously Inner Mongol- Mongolia, but with the blank Mongolia, it could also have been Outer Mongolia. <laughs> or I would so, have been stupid and guessed Upper. <laughs> upper. Upper. My God, right. The one that's upstairs. Upper and Lower Egypt. But we'll, put, we'll, we'll fill that in. Oh, here we go. Kathy O is back with Wheelhouse, uh, and this is one of the best clues in the puzzle. Because, let's see. I mean, mm, uh, four down, Deb. Four down. Crossing the A at Apollo. Ah, uh, my favorite. I love these. I love any kind of, of filled in steam bun. I love char siu bao, which are the pork buns. It was also a filmed and steamed bun because they had yes. a Pixar short. Yes, yes. The bao uh, was, was a wonderful. real tearjerker. It was. I, I posted it on today's column and said, be prepared to tear up a little bit. Yeah. Oh, uh, so you did. Especially as a Sorry, mother. Sorry, I need to read your column. Yeah, that would be nice. <laughs> um, it would be, uh, I mean, I read. I read your wordplay stuff. I read not, not that I would, yeah, <laughs> I kind of have to. But um, the bow was one of my favorite things. And uh, Zhao Long Bao, I hope I pronounced that right, the, our soup dumplings, and those are my favorite. Mm. Anyway, I mean, I'm just in yeah, this we're, for we're the food. Yeah, we're hungry. Um, yeah. uh, by Eichler says, I love this. We love, love that, that you're too. joining us. Come put your guesses in the comments. Yes. It'll be a bunch Join of fun. Join us. Uh, Carolyn Elise doesn't think we're, this is that much fun, though, because six down, she says, is no fun. Oh, Dullsville, Dullsville man. Absolutely no fun. If you, whoops. Fun- what am I doing here? You're no uh, fun. I'm, I, I'm no fun. I'm kidding. I also can't I'm kidding. This is This is a lot of fun. There we go. Um, KD Monken is back with us and says that five down is, AP, is APR, or the abbreviation yes. for April. I can't but tell here. you. I, I got A right away. I had the P. I had to run the alphabet for this one. I don't know why. <laughs> API, no, I think that's that's uh, computer that's language. That's computer. No, that APO, a no, that's something else. It's an APR. Zero percent APR financing. Exactly. Um uh, Arcobalo no Shino is here with us again. Uh, today's a holiday here. Buon Ferragosto, everybody. Did wow. I say that right? But that's Buon excellent. Buon Ferragosto. Um, EDW David is back with us as well. It's nice of you all to come back and join us again. We didn't scare you off last time. Absolutely. Uh, seven oh. down oh. is gland. Oops, Ooh. sorry. So it's okay. <laughs> Prostate, EG. <laughs> yeah, well, it certainly yep. is. Yeah, that, that's, that's that is one of them. Yep. See, some of, some of the uh, clues here can be pretty straightforward for Thursday. Yeah. But it's a way, it's sort of like a, a rung on a ladder to help you climb up. It's funny that you bring that up. That's actually something that we tell our constructors a lot mm-hmm. who submit to us, is that you don't need to come up with some clever trick for every clue. Right. Just because it's, you know, one of the later days of the week. Exactly. Although I have to tell you as a constructor, it is very tempting. <gasps> if you think up an evil clue, it is so tempting to put that in there no matter what. And I've seen clues of mine changed for that reason. One of the things the editing team is very good at is changing the clues for the day of the week and keeping them all sort of even. I mean, they throw in one or two tricky ones earlier in the week, but uh, they're very good at calming constructors down. Here's one that I thought was interesting. Apt hairstyle for a gunslinger. When you see the apt hairstyle or apt name for clues, we're, we're trying to, or the, the puzzle is trying to get you to think of something that is, uh, that goes with it, uh, or has something to do with a gun, in this case, a gunslinger. Uh, the answer here is bangs, because guns go whoa, bang. Whoa. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Not only that, but I was confused because I didn't think bangs were a hairstyle necessarily. I thought it was more of a feature, but Will, it's still, it's Will, still... Will calls his bangs his hairstyle. Will has bangs? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> right. Absolutely there, not. No. Um, yeah, it's, it's, I haven't seen him in a while, but still. Uh, but that's uh, that's bangs. Yeah, but I've got a, I've got a few comments I wanted to run by you. Sure. First of all, um, Reb Oil is joining us from YouTube. We're streaming hey, at Reb. Wordplay uh, NYT. First time tuning in live. Welcome. Um, they have forty six across. One of the long answers in the puzzle. Oh. Lucille Ball, and you knew you know that what? too. I did, and somebody else. Uh, 
said it as well. I think it might have been Policy Junkie. Oh, Policy Junkie. TV star with a museum in Jamestown, New York. Now, I will tell you that I got this right off the bat because I've read Lucille Ball's biography, and I knew she was born in Jamestown, New York, uh, and obviously was a TV star. The interesting thing I find about this clue is we have a number in brackets at the end. I think four. that that probably four, yes. <laughs> yeah, I got I think it. this is what I'm out good of for nowhere. Here. Um, it's not definitely not a typo. Uh, there's a reason for that, but we're going to get to that a little later because it has to do with the trick to the puzzle or the uh, the theme. So let me type that in there, and that was very good. Thank you, uh, Reb. Great uh, illustration ball. of you know how everybody's got their gimmies. I would have needed right. a few more letters and yes. then some. Well, Reb and I are obviously of the same generation, and uh, I knew Lucy. I, or I'm just I, behind on the things I should know. Could be, could be. I love Lucy. It was a little after my time, but I did see it in re uh, reruns, and I was a big fan. Also wanted to shout out uh, Honey604. Welcome back. A bit late, forgot it's Thursday. That's okay. Jump right in. That's okay. Um, Honey actually has eight down, which is salty. Ah. Or salty. I don't know if it's salty or salty. Uh, conductor Georg Schulte it was very famous, and he's and, come up in puzzles quite a lot. And, and here, here's a layup for you, Deb. I'm going to let you okay. take this one away. Snoopy Lives Here is joining us today with a nice Hi, thumbs Snoopy. up and emoji, and they say, always wondered how puzzles are constructed. Oh, well, uh, we, we talk about that a lot, and we especially have a series of wonderful articles on wordplay that... Uh, took people through the steps to constructing an article. It, we, each uh, month we had a pair of uh, well-known New York Times constructors talking about the steps like um, uh, deciding on a theme and how to polish it, s designing the grid, filling the grid, writing the clues. And then after that, uh, the last part was Joel Fagliano and Will Shorts talking about their editing process and what happens after you send your puzzle in and uh, it just goes to the chop it just goes to the chopping block exactly that's the spoiler alert yeah. but anyway anybody can submit a puzzle to us yes it's an open um, rotation simit one is joining us today and says you two are adorable with Aww. the heart base simit looking forward Thank to you. seeing you on saturday at a lalapazula yes. crossword tournament just letting in New you York know City. i may be a little bit late but that's okay <laughs> Uh, Lala Pazula is running in New York City uh, this Saturday, the day after tomorrow. Uh, unfortunately, it's sold out, but if you'd like to come and hang out and just watch a bunch of people having enormous fun solving puzzles and just communing with each other and having a terrific time, please uh, look up BeMoreSmarter.com and click on the Lala Pazula thing. It's a wonderful tournament that has really grown over the last 10 years. It is the largest puzzle tournament in New York City. On a Saturday in August. It is on a Saturday August. in August. Yes, exactly. It, it really is. Always on a Saturday in August. Anyway. So, so what else have we got here? We've got uh, Renz from Budlums at ah. 29 across off the N from Ned. Got it. Tears. Now that, you could look at that and think it says tears, tears. like weep, weeping tears, yeah. but it's not. It's it's tears, and you could, you could solve a few more of, of the crossers to get it. It does happen to be Wrens, as in to tear one's clothing. And, as, I mean, as you said, we can check our crossers. Sure. I mean, 31 down, that's three letters. Ah, uh, uh, article. 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 Um, that, at first I had die or D. I don't know how you pronounce it in German, as in the. Um, <laughs> but it's uh, das, I think. Or no, der. It is der. der. Yeah. But it's okay. We can th we, you can check out your crossers on more than um, I mean. Dr go. blank 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 looks good. Really desire with over. That's got to be drool over. So der has to be right. And let's see what this is. West Coast Airport code. Oh, I've flown out of there quite a bit. That's San Francisco. S F O. Mm hmm. There we go. Some people coming in from L for Lollapazoola might be uh yes. might be flying that they way. They come from all over for that. Uh, let's see. I've I'm seeing some guesses for some of the long longer ones earlier. Wow. Actually, we can go to 17 across. You guys are row. amazing. Easy quiz to grade. Well, you know what? Now that we're getting some of the letters, I'm beginning five. to see a, a yeah five. I'm beginning to that. see I'm beginning to see a pattern here. Right? I think, you know, this looks like it could be false. Waldorf Al Waldorf false. Yes. No, no, that's not quite it. I think they're right. I think it's a true or false test. True. Yes. yes. Correct. Now, what does the five have to do with? I don't... I don't know. The last five letters are E-T-E-S-T. -E so it's an E-test. 
It is an e-test. It's, it it's an online e only. Well, that's fine. That's fine. That's an easy question. Um, no, maybe you know? maybe it's the first five. It's T R U E O because they uh, that anagrams to outre. Well, or you could, so that's could just part be of the Truio. Thing. True. Oh, yeah. Like Kauai Five O. I don't think we're getting very far on we're this. Not. Let's but, come back but, to but it. But you can let uh, you, you can let your your mind run wild here. Exactly. Start of many Mexican city names. I kind of figured this is going to be an ing ending. So I think that's confirmed by San. Indeed. At nineteen days. And what is twenty three? We actually Bruce Giordano has uh, and Caroline oh, no. Elise. They've both I figured Bruce out twenty three. I think Bruce Giordano solved the puzzle Cross. already. <laughs> so is MC um, um Blank N D I N G at twenty three across. What do we? We got romantic, romantic activity. activity man okay romantic is a well, word <sighs> yeah it really is male am, bonding male bonding five. that's a five, five five that's a uh that's a, a an entry that just drips with testosterone <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay that's okay so, so what is what what is so what do we make of the five there what well, can, is there anything we can anagram in, in, in that clip i don't know maybe we can hop down here use up oh, there we go oh M Usually toward the end of the puzzle, not always, and on Thursdays it could be anywhere, but especially today you can find the revealer, which is the part of the puzzle that tells you what the theme is all about, or at least hints at it, and uh, here it is. We know that because it's lit up all the other four theme entries, and the clue is take a part in order to reproduce, or a hint to what's hidden in 17, 23, 34, and 46. Take a part to reproduce. I got nothing. I got nothing either. Let's nothing. let's see. Maybe they let's, can help it. We got uh. Well, let's see. Red, um, we got some. I'm got sorry. Some Red's got thirty four across. Yeah, wow. wow. What's uh? What's the clue there? Drug makers claim six. Something with uh, <laughs> reefer. Yeah. Well, I I have to say that I misread this at first when I was uh, solving. I thought it's a drug dealer's claim, and and so when I realized that the answer was no side. Whoopsie side effects no side effects i thought well that's oh, kind of weird wow. because you would think that a drug dealer's claim would be yes there's plenty, yes, of, there's side plenty of side effects <laughs> i have at it right but it turns out drug, drug makers claim now some people had a problem with that because there are very few drugs these days that don't have side effects that are not you know they will drug makers will go out of their way to claim the the, uh, the the what side effects there are because uh, they don't want to get sued basically so we're uh, I'm not sure about that but at any way rate it's a six it, what else so, have we got so, thank so you what's Reb. the what's the six there what what does the six mean hmm. so I'm we have a sure. so we have a five in true or false test we have a five in male bonding right we have a six in no side effects and we have a effects. four in uh, Lucille Ball. So, I think okay. we should keep working. Um, I think so. Let's start with Boris at 24 down. Ah. Lots of guesses there. Alcabal and Oshino and many Russia's others. Russia's first over. president, yes. Boris. M Mr. Yeltsin. Right. Uh, MC Dendis has TLC at 28 down off the sea from some side effects. Ah. Sister network of Animal Planet and HGTV. Yes, absolutely. Like I said before uh, we went on the air, those really are the only three networks I care about with my cable package. Maybe uh, the Food Network. So what's crossing it at the uh, the first two there? Like the oh. sexual references in PG-13 movies. Well, how's that for an inspired clue? That's inspired. Um, well, I would imagine if it's PG-13, it's kind of maybe tame. Yeah, sure. Okay. PG-13, that's that sounds about right. a perfectly cromulent answer, right? It is a perfectly cromulent answer. Right we up have here. Bingo. There. Right there. Excellent. Okay. Excellent. That's what we're Just looking for. Just for people who are turning, tuning in for the first time, we try to fit the word cromulent into every stream. Yes. So please uh, be patient Caroline with us. Elise agrees with Tame. Sorry, I lost, okay. some, I lost some comments here. Oh, waiting for it all to refresh. That. But, uh, you, oh, it's so many Tame, Tame, Tame. Everybody's saying Glues. Tame. Uh, Caroline Elise says glues. Fixes, in a way. Oh, yeah, that's true. If you glue something, you're sort of fixing it. So what's 11 down? Oh, it that's like, like one. I liked this one. Oh, this is no. a good question mark clue, oh. which means there's wordplay afoot. 
and not my column. There's, regular there's, there real is world all play. Really, oh, with your columns <laughs> is full of real yeah. world world yes. play. World play. Uh, subtenant might make you think on the surface of somebody who's subletting your apartment. But you shouldn't think on the surface. You should think below, below the, surface, the surface, or perhaps Thank below you for and laterally. Laterally. Um, so we have to think of what other kind of subs we know. Well, we know about submarines. I Sub or sandwiches. sandwiches. Yes, we're all about the food, but in this case, I don't think there would be. If there's a if there's a tenant in my sub sandwich, I'm going to complain. I'm going to try to send it back. Just pull it out like you pull out the exactly. toothpicks, right? <laughs> right. The tenant. Because, the, yeah, the, the tenant needs too got much eight legs, But I'm 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 okay with that. Send it back. The um the submarine tenant would be an oceanaut. Wah, wah. I kind of like yeah. that. I, no, I, I have mean, to hey, tell you, I do everybody, too. you know, you ask 10 people their opinion of a crossword puzzle, you're going to get 10 different opinions. Yes, yes. Okay, what We've else got have we got? We've got a me, mess dames oh, for a 12 down, right? My heart. <laughs> okay. Yeah, uh, and, and, 12 and, down, it's uh, mesdames, <laughs> French ladies. Mess dames. Mess dames, mess dames. What's a 16 across? We should get our crosses. Oh, yeah. Splits into bits. Now... I guess this is correct. I don't do this very. This comes up in the puzzle more than it probably should. But the answer is rices. What? So, um, when when you say you guess it's correct, I'm gonna trust the the chef in you. I think so. It's it works. Now it's here okay. I was I, a little carp is is really a little fish, but uh, it's a it knit says actually. It's a, it's a knit. Knit. wrong animal. Yeah. Right. Well, the th right. It's the little carp is not a knit. A knit is a bug. But uh, actually, to carp at something means to complain, and you would be picking a knit if you did have a little carp. So that makes sense. Here's a so, so this is how you know we're doing things right. Uh, okay. Craig Berman says that broke my iPad. And and I don't even know which clue he's referring to. I don't know, to. but well, so. well, somebody help Craig because I think his iPad blew up. <laughs> Craig, don't leave us, man. Right. Uh, <laughs> Rebel Turner is Nat, Nat. Turner. And Here that look, go. estates looks good at thirteen down. It does. What's uh, fourteen? Ooh, look at this. Sound uh, of wonder. How about ooh? Dang. Damn. <laughs> oh, well, I was I was being you know G rated. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's pro see. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sacred symbol that would be a totem. What else have we got? Who's, who's uh, let's see. Uh, <laughs> uh, EDW David agrees with the states. Honey604 agrees with Nat. Lots okay. of guesses coming in. Great agree agreements on Oceanot and uh, Mess Dames. Mess Dames. Um, and Horch is back with us and has oh, hey. Aortas. Is oh, it Aortas makes, or like Aorte? Well, let's see. Some circulation channels. Aorte. Now, sometimes it's a plural in, uh, I guess, Latin, A-E. And sometimes it's a plural by adding an S. So what should we do if we're not sure which letter it is? I vote for solving the crosser. I guess I can go with that. Alrighty. Online admin. Now, this is something that comes up a lot in crossword puzzles, too. That would be sysop. I maintain this is actually a thing. Yes, yeah, I'm sure it is. Um, so that would be an, <coughs> an S at the end, excuse me. And that gives us oped at 25 across, like opened po poetically. Yeah, right? yeah, except it's not clued like that, Sam. It's clued as a slanted column. So and you're telling me we don't write hyphens in uh, crosswords? Um, no, we in fact, we don't do any sort of, uh, of diacritical marks unless, of course, we do. Unless it's, yeah. it's part that, of the thank theme. You. That, um, yes. That's really the basic rule of the New York Times crossword is we don't do a certain thing unless we'll decide we, we do. do. Right. And that's part of the fun of a, that's part of the fun of construction mm -hmm. is that I'll sit down and I say I want to make a Thursday and I say what have we never done? It's in not the as much before? fun for the developers though because they have to sort of hop to it. <laughs> But exactly. anyway, this is op-ed because uh, the slanted column sounds like it's the Leaning Tower of Pisa, but it's really not. A uh, column with an opinion would be an op-ed, and for those who don't know, op doesn't stand for opinion. Did you know that? It is um, opposite the editorial. That's right. See how fast he, he learns? They grow up so fast. Um, 1851. 1851, right? That's when they the New York Times started. They ingrained that in us, you guys. Yes. During, during orientation, they, they stress you out about that. But 25 down is op-ed or opposite the editorial pages because it does have an opinion. It is slanted. We've got guesses for eyes at 18 down. Ah. We can do three down. Some well. hieroglyphic symbols. I'm so used to seeing, you know, ibises there. Yes. Um. But it, it do have the eyes with, you know, the little yeah. cat mm -hmm. corner. Fresh glue for eyes. So humorously, 
I, some people had uh, w- were confused as to why it was humorous, but I guess I could I could go it's, along. I with mean, this. it's the same I mean, way. I'm not even forcing it this time. I mean mm-hmm. this wholeheartedly. It's the same way. I didn't realize Cromulent was humorous. I was just kind of <laughs> using it. So I've well, used like thusly, like without being tongue in cheek. Right, except that I guess we, to the wrong people. I guess I guess Cromulent has sort of entered the lexicon. It's originally from The Simpsons, but it uh, has come along. And then one of our one of our regular viewers. Uh, plays Cromulent Bingo and waits for us to say Hi, it. Hi, Kathy. Uh, <laughs> um, but I guess you, what we just did is we wrote in thusly and Will just laughed. So, okay. So, so that it means it's humorously. funny, right? right? Exactly. Exactly. And that gives us Etsy at 20 Here's, across. Thank you, Etsy, for existing. For being so, for being so wonderful in terms of your letters. Us constructors out oh, of, yeah. of the worst. Absolutely. Here's one that makes me sort of gag a little bit, but it's um, the aspic like dish is gelé. I don't know what you don't, that you is. You don't make aspic often? No. Um, <laughs> uh, I don't know. It's not something that appeals to me. To me, aspic is sort of like one of those things. It's a, for people who don't know, it's it was like a thin layer of gelled gravy, I guess. It was like meat flavored. It, it, was, I mean, it was just and basically it, all wrapped in like some Giant, it was some no, giant it was loaf. Flat, no, I think no, no, it no. was flat. Uh, on, I trust on, you. Under the entree, and it sort of, I guess it added flavor. But to me, it really harkens back to those really horrible 1950s recipes that. Used Hi to kids. See. Hi kids. Sorry. Um, about that. Yeah. No idea. People, people used to make aspic all the time, and well, I have no idea why. Next time I make aspic, I'm just going to call it gelé. A gelé. Yes. So that, so that and, way. I mean, that just sounds better. And serve it to, to the mes dames. The mes dames. The mes dames. Yes. Right. Kathy's <laughs> saying hi. Hi, Kathy. <laughs> With the three bells. Yeah. Oh, Caroline Elise is sad. Um, oh. it's uh is is clearly blue for weeps at oh. forty one across. That I'm took sorry. me the longest We're time sorry. to get. I'm sorry. Cheer up. Weeps. We've got te- we've Oops. got tears. Whoops. <laughs> 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 Right, that's I'm enough. Sorry. That's enough. Craig I'm Berman not, says it's je- it's, it's Jello for meat. Is oh, aspic. God. That doesn't. You I don't think, think that just, makes it sound more I don't more think I'm going to be having lunch today. Mm. Oh, I will. Anyway. I'm going to have some bow. We can go to the uh, oh. we can go to the the food hall near uh, Grand Central. Yes. They they have the bow Absolutely. place. Absolutely. Um. Let's see. Mm-mm. All right. Bruce Giordano has ebon. Where? Uh, like oh. the the color. <laughs> 42 uh, down, Eben, a Rachel dark Wood. hue, yes, um, Eben, Rachel Wood. But um, I think that it's uh, good to explain. Usually, e- earlier in the week, Eben, a, a word like Eben, will have uh, the word poetically attached to it because generally the only place you see Eben uh, is, as opposed to ebony, is where, uh, is in a poem. Oh, thy ebon webcam. Thusly thy ebon webcam. That we're staring yes. into right now. That's right. We have the a new ebon webcam. Abism. Hi, everybody. Hello, everybody. Um, um, so, but in later in the week, I think that uh, that gets dropped, right? I guess. Honestly, I would have added the poetical myself. Okay. But I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm not gonna cry foul on a shorts and folly on for editing. There you this go. One. It's all right. I did, I, I, you, I'm you enough of a nuisance you. as it is. Um, rear. This one's hard. Uh, Budlam sees right through it, but this is very yes. hard. And and I think uh, Bruce Giordano has it too. Yeah, and Craig Berman seems to know a lot about aspic. It was on the gelatin box in the fifties, and people used to make dinners. Okay, mm. yum. Um, I'll take now, your word for that, Craig. Rear could be a lot of things. It, it could be a lot of things. There we go. That fits. Patoot, it really does. Let's put that in to see how far let's, we get, let's shall see. you? Um. So let, I can tell you why that's wrong, Deb. Why? Go to sixty-one across. Okay. Producer of the Code ah. Switch and Planet Money podcast for my money. That's not. That's not right. It's a- NPR produces. Oh, those. absolutely. So, all right. So obviously it can't be Patoot, um, and it's not Tush. It's not Keister. Nope. It's not Rump. What other kinds of rear do we know? What does rear mean other than? Your dorsal side. Oh gosh, I have to. Um, let me take my mind out of the gutter. It means okay. to parent. Yes, it's to raise somebody up, to rear somebody. Oops. Oh, yeah. There we go. Our, our, I'm, I'm giving you a bad rep. Our, our Kobala no shyness says, French pronunciations, not the, uh, forte. the, the fort of this oh, program. God. Okay. <laughs> See, there's very little that we can do with him, Marco Valenciano. Well, I meant to that ironically because fort is how you say that in French. Uh, yes. like fortress. Absolutely. So, right? Somebody's right. saying Ha-ha. Oreo at 54 across. Let's take a look well, at that. Well, that's Evan and Parent. We can check it. 
Now, let, let's just. I'm talk very about excited. This I've been. We've been talking this. Yes, one we, we have. need to settle something. Um, right here. you you have never been as embarrassed in your entire life as when you email the editors of the New York Times crossword thinking you found a typo, and they explain to you that it's not in fact a typo. That's, we don't mean to be embarrassing. Uh-huh. No, that's true. I just we figured, don't bite. No, yeah, but uh, the snack item once advertised as wonder filled with a lowercase f is actually correct, and it is the Oreo. Thank you to whoever said that. I can't yeah, really so, see their so, name. So it's not actually, it's not actually, yeah. But if you Google Oreo wonder filled, that their logo did say it was all caps except for that lowercase f. So I we can. Know, I would have loved to have been in the marketing meeting. We, for that we one. can <laughs> parlay this loss yeah. into a win by saying. That our fact checkers are just very astute. We're on the ball. In, Absolutely. In making sure that you're digging up that slogan, and if you can right. look it up yourself, the F yeah. is indeed lowercase. It as is. Weird as this looks in the grid, and I didn't realize we stylized things like this. I thought time style always took precedence, but um, I guess not for Oreos. After you know three hundred appearances in the crossword, a we just want to do something. Couple people are guessing fresh. Uh, you like the sleepy. sleep weep cross. Yeah, uh, sleepy. Lisa Higgum has about it. About to go has out. It. Right. This is a very. This is a kind of clue you'll see a lot in the crossword puzzle. About to go out. Out is used as sort of a synonym for sleeping or being comatose. So if you see about to go out, uh, don't think about, you know, leaving your house or going out, you know, on a date or anything like that. Think about sleep, uh, which I do all the time. Yeah, wait, let's not. About to go out uh, is, if you're about to go out, you're about to lose consciousness. So it's really about being sleepy. I'm also, when I'm like about to go out, out, I'm mm-hmm. usually a little on the tired side too, and it takes my friends kind of right. going like, hey, shots. But that's what, <laughs> that's, that's what the coffee is for. Gotcha. Uh, did Chuck, you know Chuck nicknamed the, the, the king of sitcoms? I did not know this. Now, Chuck Lorre, I, usually you would see this clued as Peter Lorre, the actor, uh, but that goes pretty far back. I think this was probably an attempt to uh, modernize the entry Lorre. Chuck Lorre is still from about 20, 30 years ago, but he was the king of the sitcoms. I forget what he produced, but he was um, a producer in the golden age of television, I guess, maybe in the 60s and 70s. You're Possibly asking the, the wrong. You're asking I don't the wrong know. Guy. That's true. I'm taking your word for all this. Uh, what uh, else? Just like we can take your word for 64 crosses, tie, T-Y-E, the chain fastened to a ship's yard. Yes. That's one that... I never remember that, but I figured out a way to remember it now. It's uh, when you tie up your boat, T-I-E, that's like a chain fashion to a ship's yard, T-Y-E. But of course, the, hey, those, astute, gets you through. those avid spelling bee players shall know that I'm not the most up, up hip on my, uh, my sailing lingo. Right. Love, y- you love to see it. Or, oh, God. Um, so t- I, I got a question from Snoopy Lives here. Oh, okay. um, can you recommend a good puzzle dictionary? I suggest mm-hmm. Snoopy, if I may. Um, the website xwordinfo.com, all, word. all one word, xwordinfo, like mm-hmm. crossword with an x, xwordinfo.com, that is the database of everything you need to know about the New York Times crossword. Right. Um, that is how I got interested. Like, there, there's so many features that just make you want to start constructing puzzles. Absolutely. It's absolutely fascinating it's what a, they have there. You can take a deep dive into that website. Um, it's just the most up-to-date way to look at all yeah. the words that appear in our puzzles and how they've been clued. So if that if mm-hmm. that is your intent, whether you're just trying to solve or construct, um, that should uh, scratch the edge. Absolutely. <laughs> if you're looking for a print dictionary, Stan Newman wrote one quite a while ago, but uh, it's a big heavy book uh, that has it's a tome it's a tome yes it definitely is um somebody was suggesting irene 49 down oh yes the the hurricane memorable 2011 thank god at least it's not good night irene <laughs> memorable 2011 and here we go look at this we're almost done what do we want to go to some of the longer ones just to kind of have it in our sure. minds i kind of like doing that like 34 down 34 down what do we have here attention getting phrase huh Nag, 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 no, nag, no, nag, that's, nag. That's, that's, that's complaining about something. <laughs> no, that's, that's not actually. See, you're going to get attention for that, but it's not the kind of attention you want. Uh, let's see, eclipse. Well, okay. it could be a, a lunar eclipse. It could be a solar eclipse. Lisa Higgins having fun, by the way. Le- oh, good. We're I'm glad, glad you're having you fun, us, Lisa. Lisa. Thank you. Um, has got has got the oh, revealer, yeah. but we're not going to spoil it just yet. But Woodlums has a usury, though. 
Ah, where's that? 53 across. We have the R and the Y. Oh, there you go. Usurp. High percentage crime. Without that's 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 actually usury is not very funny, but it's a high percentage crime not because it's uh, there is a lot of it, which is what the clue seems to apply. Like a, if you live in a high percentage crime neighborhood, it is high percentage in the sense that usury uh, is lending money lending and charging a very oops a very an Aussie with an extra syllable yes. Uh, it's it's uh, money lending with a very high percentage of interest. One of my favorite clues for that answer is, um, you know, activity of great interest to sharks. Oh, yes. <laughs> it, 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 you really, That's it gets pretty good, though. So, okay. USA, mm. USPS. I don't, well, we, it's not a rebus. This, <laughs> you know, would anybody have that? I think somebody does. Uh, but we can, what's for, want to do 48 down and Horchers sure. Q in. Wow, okay. Signal when to begin, like Sir Georg Schulte did, the conductor. Yes. He would cue sure. in the instruments. Um, what's in 63 across? Topics in couples therapy. Uh, well, I, was, I almost put in needy, but that's not the right tense. Needs, somebody's needs. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, 57. Okay, go I ahead. I was going to say, Karen Courtney Spencer says that... 50, a couple of people 50, Oh, yeah, other... Uh, Honey604 had it, too. Uh, 59 across is the ever-popular inane. Where is it? 59 across, right next ah, to uh, okay. asinine. Asinine, yep. You can, it's not a puzzle unless it has inane in it. <laughs> I, I, I like that uh, asinine can be anagrammed to is inane. Yes. So. Um, I always wondered, you know, what you do once you're in AIM, you know, just, but, uh, government agency much impersonated in scam calls. It's got to be the IRS. Yep. And look at this. We have <laughs> it, an e-engineer. An e-engineer. That's an, an online, online engineer. engineer. Right. That's like online our, uh, that's only. like our web developer, uh, Garrett Amini, our, uh, the, the, our the the evil, evil genius, genius behind producer. this. Okay. Uh, 46 down anglers purchases. That's got to be lures. What else are uh, people Oh, <laughs> L. Euler, M.E., an engineer herself, uh, knows 55 across. The 55 reveal. Okay. Um, Liz Policy Plowman Junkies a... got it. Lisa Higgum has it. Liz Plowman's joining us. Hi, Glad Liz. you're with us in time. Do we want to spill Let's, the beans here? I think we should because enough people are, are mm, guessing we, it. We've got uh, let me see. Po I Policy Kulam, Junkie. Lisa Higgum. M. Euler, M.E., or Euler. I'm oh, sorry. Um, but it is reverse engineer. It is. To take apart in order to reproduce, uh, when you reverse something, reverse engineer something, you are taking it apart to see how it works and then uh, figuring out how to make your own. Exactly. You reverse engineer it. So what does that mean? A hint to what's hidden Well, in 17. If it's hidden, it means that it has to be in, one of the, in each of these themed entries. So what we now have to figure out, I think reverse is a clue here. I think we're going to be reading them backwards. That sounds plausible. Go ahead. Well, we already did cromulent. Come up with another word, Sam. Plausible. Okay. Uh, let's see. Test plus that holds water. It does. Just like a ewer. Wow. Um, okay. True let's or false? Okay. Oh, but there's, there's a five in a true or false test. Remember? Uh, oh, yeah. This is the brackets. Maybe that's helpful. Is there? A, I got it. I see Afro hidden backwards in true Afro or false is, that's Afro E. I don't think is that an engineer. I think that's not an engineer, but you know what? La, la Afro with an apostrophe. La Afro. I think it's Tesla. T S L A. That that sounds cromulent. Sorry. It, yes, it does. Um, so here's your reverse engineer. It's an engineer written backwards, hidden in these phrases. T E S L A. And how about this one? I, I just caught on to this one now. Male bonding has Alfred Nobel hidden inside. Do we want to, we can show these next two clues for the brackets, but maybe okay. let the solvers chew on where they might Let's be. Let's do as it. We chew keep, away, you uh, guys. Knocking Drug out that makers bottom. claim there's a six in there, and Lucille Ball has a, a four-letter four engineer. So let's keep going, you let's guys. Keep let's moving. crush this. Caroline Elise has beef rib at 38 down. That's Ooh. a fresh answer that gets a check on the editing where side. Is it? All the way on the left. All the way Going on the downward. Left. There you go. Barbecue, Barbecue cut. cut. Absolutely. I personally, nice one. I like some pork ribs, but beef ribs are good. Beef ribs are tasty. I'm yes. more of a pork barbecue person myself. Uh, maybe, uh, so we have the attention getting huh. phrase. Fitz. Huh. 
Gosh, that's that could be a that has be lots of it lots has of me. Yeah, let's move on. What uh, are other people 48 saying? Forty-eight across. Well, we got um. We a had lot a guest for catching up to reverse engineer. Exactly, exactly. Um, Reb Oral has figured out one of the hidden ones. Ah. It's fifty-two. We yeah, we big swigs. Ah, well, if you take big swigs out of the uh, Geritol bottle, which I do <laughs> when you and Garrett don't know things because they happened before you were born. Uh, I belt straight from the Geritol bottle. Okay, there we go. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, oh, Car- um, we've got guesses. Oh, Pete McCorder has et, E-T-T-E, the suffix at 40 across. Um, I'm sorry? At 40 across, right? Yeah. Uh, suffix oh, with novel. Et. Hey. Et, novelette. Novelette, a, nice it, one. Whoopsie. Eat. Eat. It's a. <laughs> I'm hungry. If it's a, it's a. Yeah, I think your, I think your blood sugar is starting to drop. You're losing food and everything. But a novelette. It's <laughs> well, there a very is Bao small book. And Oreo in the grid. Yes, yes. And um, beef rib. Yeah, and the beef rib. I could go Let's for see. beef rib. What the first letter of fifty six down stands for? Well, an E N T is an ear, nose, and throat doctor. So, Oop, I'm oh. sorry. I just look at me go. <laughs> but, but, I'm, no, I think that's I'm okay. hungry too. Well, it's that's okay. Oh, I mean, I'm messing up. Here solvers, we, go. we we all can have our, our brain farts. Right. And this was a big one of mine. You just check your crossers. Okay. You Here. fix that. There you go. Um, L O L M E has out rival at 35 Ooh, down. That's, that's aggressive. A good one. Yes, eclipse. If you eclipse somebody, you overshadow them. And you out rival them. And before we close up this puzzle, oh, we yeah. do have the other two remaining engineers. We have well, we're we're not quite done yet. Well, I do. We, do we want to save it for when the puzzle's done, uh, or do you want to point them out now? I'll leave it no, to you. Let's let let's uh, finish up. We've got cool. three squares left, guys. We're, we're almost uh, there. I know. I'm over eager. Help us bring this home. Um, here we go. Eli- Elia Coven eighty nine. Oh. Um, I don't believe I've called on you yet. Yeah. Um, glad you're joining us. Attention third- getting phrase. I don't say this to get attention, but books do. Exactly. Nota bene. I which say is... come solve crosswords with me. Okay. Usually and, someone And what's likes the result it. of that? Okay. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. That's le- that's left to the reader. Nota bene is a Latin phrase. You see it mostly in uh, writing or sometimes in legal I documents. Think it's abbreviation, too. Its abbreviation is NB, and it means please pay attention to what comes next. Yes. Good so, note. Yes. Okay. So last square, you guys. Office address abbreviation crossing fits. What oh, do we we've got, got here? Liz Plowman's got it. Uh, oh, Caroline Elias go. said one cross in it. Um, Mashula UWS had FBI at fifty-two yes, across. Yes, a lot of people did. Um, but that's going to be bout and sweet. S T E. Okay. Goodness. So I'm going to type it in, and we're going to close up the puzzle, and then we're going to open it again and explain the other uh, two theme entries. So we've got bout. And look at this, you guys. 47, Three Thursdays in a row. Hey. You guys have crushed the puzzle with us. So don't let anybody tell you that you cannot solve a New York Times crossword. Quick it's thing, if you don't want to stick around for the theme, I'm going to tell you to stick around because after this, yes. we do have another announcement about next week's crosswords live. Absolutely. So um, just, just fingers, hang tight another minute Fingers crossed. Longer. We got it. Okay, so we've got... The bracketed numbers indicate to us the number of letters that we have to look for to find the reverse engineers. Yes. So we've got five letters here. We've got Tesla, T-E-S-L-A. We've got five letters, Alfred Nobel, N-O-B-E-L. So I I want to math debate says that was sweet. Oh, man. (laughs) <laughs> That's very good. Thank you. Okay. We've got a six letter drug maker's claim here. Uh, it's Edison right at the front. There you go. Thank you. I <laughs> lost that for a second. E D I S O N, Thomas Edison. Interesting that he's in there with Tesla, but okay. Uh, Lucille There's Ball. There's beef rib. That's right. Uh, they had beef with each other. Yeah. Is uh, Alexander Graham Bell, B E L L, and that's the four letter one that we were supposed to find. So that was the way uh, Mr. Zhou, the constructor, took a phrase like reverse engineer and he reimagined it to, uh, f- and he found a set of phrases that had these engineers spelled backwards in the uh, crazy thing. lively that phrases too. Really, I mean, it's just yeah. crazy. It's impressive right. finding that noticing that true or false test is Tesla written in backwards. That's just the mark of a good constructor. Absolutely, it's super impressive. We so loved this when we received it. Yep. Um, thank you to uh, Sue Snyder Austin. Great. Snoopy lives here. Well, glad you'll be back next Thursday. So Hang on just a sec. Next though. Thursday. We have a special uh, Crosswords Live, very special episode of Crosswords Live. Uh, we are going to be solving, if, if 
you know, the universe Both is good to us. It's, we're good. Uh, we got it. Live from Pleasantville, New York, the home of the Puzzle Master, Will Shorts. We are going to be including Will in our solving, and we'll get to see a little bit of uh, where he works and where you work Woo. with him and Joel Fagliano, his, his deputy editor. That's going to be a really cool one. It's the first uh, off-site one we've done, so let's hope it goes well. And I hope you'll join us for this because it'll be a really nice it's solve. Be... We all put our heads together and get to solve with Will Shorts. And give a few, uh, you know, editing nuggets from his end, Absolutely. too, which should be pretty yeah. fun. See the how, kind of stuff how, that's in his house. How the answers wound up in the puzzle and how the clues how were How the written. sausage gets made. And uh, uh, we're going to need to buy a lot of duct tape for this. <laughs> yes, I think so. You're going to be very he's gonna excited. Wanna, he's going to want to leave his chair. So okay. Will's going to be with us next week. Maybe Joel will make a cameo, too. This is going to be a lot of fun. Yes, I'm absolutely. Stoked. So please join us next Thursday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This has been a lot of fun, as Lots usual. Fun. Uh, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, this is Crosswords Live. I'm Deb Amlin and Sam Mazursky for The New York Times. Thanks for joining us, and have a good week. Bye, everybody.